what's the opposite of lady fingers? Men toes. Get it? Lady fingers, men toes. My name is Walt Soka, Ivy Masters Learning Center at ivymasters.com. And today we're going to look at the October 2020 SAT, section 4, number 28, which deals with perpendicular lines. Remember, as soon as you see the word perpendicular, you see it right over here, then what you know is that your slopes are going to be opposite reciprocals. So in other words, if you've got a slope of 2 thirds, perpendicular slope is going to be negative 3 over 2. Flip the fraction, multiply by negative 1. 28 reads, line Q and R in the XY plane are perpendicular and intersect at the origin. If R passes through the point 1K, and what is the equation of line Q? All right. So let's take a crack at it. By the way, as soon as you see the word, remember perpendicular, you know you're working with slope. So here you go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at the answer choices. So answer choice A, if that's the equation of line Q and line R is perpendicular to it, um, first of all, does zero, zero work there? Yes, because they intersect at the origin. Zero, zero's gotta work there. Answer choice A and B, zero, zero works. Um, and answer choice C, zero, zero does not work because zero does not equal one over K. Answer choice D, zero, zero doesn't work because zero doesn't equal negative one over K. So you can eliminate those right away. That makes your life easier than checking for the perpendicular slopes. Now, when you look at your answer choices, for answer choice A, what you can see is that if Y equals negative K over X and that's line Q, then the equation of line R must be Y equals, so your slope here is negative K, it's gonna be the opposite reciprocal. So it's gonna be positive one over K times X. And it says that line R passes through the point one K. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put uh, one in for X and I'm gonna put K in for Y. So K equals one over K times the X. Mm -hmm. 